can't decide what to eat. I cannot get any more real on the internet than this. Can I do some shopping? <laughs> What's the word? I know none of it would have been possible without God. I thought twice, believe I, I made a bit of a mess there. That was a complete fail if I must say so myself. This arm has been non-functional or rather partially functional. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. This one is going to be really exciting and very memorable as well. So I wanted to take you along with us as we go to Oxford. Um, we've already loaded the car and Levi is already in the car also and Lakshman is waiting for me. So I'm going to go and I will catch up with you in a bit to explain everything. Oxford is only an hour and a half away from Bristol. We've already been driving for two hours now and we've had to take two breaks and we've got another half an hour to reach. This is exactly why we wanted to do this trip. It's such a super last minute trip. We never plan any holidays in such last minute. It's always months ahead. But this one, we just decided last night, booked a hotel late last night, packed this morning and then we left. We wanted to do this trip like um, it's more like a test run for us, you know, because this is our first trip with Levi. This is Levi's first trip. He's only 10 weeks old and so far he actually doesn't like the car seat at all. So we wanted to do something local, somewhere nearby, so that we have a bit of a practice run with him before we drive all the way up to Scotland to our family, probably in a couple of months or so. And that's one of the reasons why we keep putting off going back to Glasgow so soon. Although we really want to actually. His car seat is really comfortable but because he's not used to it, he just doesn't want to be and because he's so young, all he wants to do is cuddle up. The first stop we made just now was to feed. He wanted to feed so we stopped, fair enough. And the second stop was because he was crying, he was screaming because he refused to sit in the car seat. So we had to stop the minute I picked him up, he fell asleep promptly and then we put him back in the car seat. So he's actually sleeping now. We're only staying for three days and two nights so we'll check out on Friday afternoon. It's kind of a birthday trip for me and Father's Day trip also. It's like all in one put together. Usually with every holiday we kind of jam pack everything. We go from place to place. We make use of the entire day right from 7 in the morning until late at night. But this time we're just going to chill out. Our hotel is right in the heart of the city. We wanted somewhere close so that if we wanted to go out and we wanted to come back quickly we could and we didn't want the hassle of you know taking the car and parking and uh, coming back and you know we didn't we just didn't want to spend time for that at all so we are in the heart of the city itself um, and we are probably going to go and have late lunch before we check into the hotel It's now been many hours since the last clip that you saw. We checked into the hotel, we had a very good nap, all of us deserved it. I think we crashed up for about 2-3 hours in the hotel. I've already unpacked all of our things and put everything away. So we are out and about now looking for dinner. It's already 9 o'clock at night. But we've been walking up and down so many times because we can't decide what to eat. The problem is when we stopped for lunch at Happy Friday Kitchen. Oh, I'm actually going to try and look at something and then I'll come back to you.
what a day yesterday turned out to be. I kept trying to film something after we finished our lunch um, in Happy Friday Kitchen but we kept getting interrupted because we either had to move from place to place or we had to cross the road, there were too many people, we had to pick Levi up because he didn't want to sit in the car seat. Um, yeah, so on and so forth, a lot of things. So we finished lunch on Happy Friday. My lunch was a bit of a fail. I ordered the burrito bowl and Lakshman ordered the hot dog with fries and cheese. I wanted to be kind of healthy, but I ended up wanting Lakshman's lunch and not mine. Mine was kind of standard. It was good, but it was kind of standard. I really liked their vegan cheese on the cheese uh, on the on the fries that Lakshman had. We didn't realize that Happy Friday Kitchen was a vegan place. We just looked for top recommendations and Vegan Friday Kitchen was one of it. Um, Happy Friday Kitchen was one of it. So we went there on the way before coming into the hotel. I ended up eating a little bit from Lakshman's fries. I tried to go healthy but yeah, I preferred the non-healthy version of it. Also, please excuse my face with the mask. <laughs> my face desperately needs it. My skin desperately needs it today. And I thought this would be a good time to actually talk to you while I'm waiting for the face mask to, you know, kind of sink in. I cannot get any more real on the internet than this, actually. <laughs> so when we finally checked into the hotel, all three of us have had enough. Um, we took three hours for a one and a half hour journey. We had to stop three times. The first time, Levi was hungry and had to change him, so that was fine. But the second time and the third time, he just screamed because he didn't want to be in the car seat anymore. So we stopped for a couple of minutes, tried to calm him down, put him to sleep. And then we went and then he woke up and then we had to stop again. So when we got to the hotel, all three of us knocked out because we really, really needed it. And then we went out in the evening to try and find food. Our hotel is right in the heart of the city. So the entire street has so many restaurants and cafes. But we kept walking up and down so many times because we couldn't decide what we wanted to. Because lunch was a bit of a fail for me, I was very skeptical and very reluctant to commit to anything at all. At first we wanted to go to Taekwon. When we saw the menu, we thought, we've had everything, we've tried everything. And nothing particularly stood out to us. I wanted the mango um, sticky sticky rice, mango pudding, mango sticky rice pudding. Um, I really like that one, I wanted that. So I thought, okay fine, I'll order that and I'll look for something else. Lakshman had sourdough pizza from Franco something and that was actually really nice. While he was ordering that pizza, I suddenly found um, a noodle place, it's a proper Chinese noodle place and they were going to close in about 3 minutes. It was almost 9 by the time I saw that. They were going to close in about 3 minutes so I rushed to that place. I left Levi with Lakshman because he was already sleeping in his car seat. I rushed to that place, ordered the noodle soup that I wanted and then I had to go and withdraw money and I realized I didn't have any of my bank cards. So I came back to Lakshman, took his bank card, went and withdraw money and then went. But they were still open uh, because I had already placed my, my order and they only had uh, cash and they didn't take any, any cards. By the time we got everything and came back, the hotel was almost half nine. And then we had dinner. I kind of overstuffed myself because I knew this was a lot and then we had the sticky rice pudding and then I had a little bit of Lakshman's pizza as well. It was really nice. The sticky mango rice pudding was a bit dry by the time we added. It wasn't really worth it, but it still tastes good. It just wasn't as fresh as I thought it would be. The noodles were so good. I missed Malaysia so much. I hadn't had that kind of noodle soup in such a long time. Today we're going to go to the Malaysian restaurant. I'm trying to save space in my stomach um, for lunch in the Malaysian restaurant because I really want to have as much as possible. Also, I forgot to tell you, it's actually my birthday today. So I get to pick whatever I want to eat and Lakshman will have to find the place. I get to choose everything. Usually for every holiday that we go to, I am the one who does all of the planning and the organizing and sorting out and you know, finding which place to go, where to eat and what to do for sightseeing. This time, I just let Lakshman do everything. I don't know if I'm tired or because it's a last minute thing. I just gave it to Lakshman. I'm like, you know what, you decide. Uh, you do whatever you want to do and I'll just follow. All I think about is, uh, is Levi's feeding time and, you know, sleeping time. That's it. That's all I'm thinking about. So Lakshman's planned a few things today. We are probably going to go out, have breakfast, go out to Botanic Gardens and then come back, rest for a while and then go out for lunch and then come back and then do something else. We need to come back to the hotel every couple of hours so that we get to rest and Levi gets to sleep properly, we can change him and feed him properly. 
I fed him outside in uh, Happy Friday Kitchen because we kind of practically had the entire place to ourselves. There wasn't anyone else. So that was my first public feeding stunt. And surprisingly, I was quite okay with it. There were people walking up and down the streets. I don't think people actually noticed it at all. But, you know, I don't know. Ever since having him, if I need to feed him, I just feed him. I don't care. But publicly, that was the first time. I don't know how it's going to be like today. We will take you along with us today, obviously. Uh, our plans keep changing according to the and according to the weather. I don't think today is all that great. Anyway, weather-wise, so we'll have to play by you and see how it goes. Um, I think my time is up. I'm going to get this off and I think you would have probably had enough of me with this face scaring you and talking for the last couple of minutes. So I'm gonna get ready and we will go out. See that there? That's Levi asleep. This is our first meal in 24 hours that we were able to sit down peacefully and eat because he actually fell asleep in the pram himself. And this is the first time he's done that for, for what? In the last three, four weeks, I think this is the very first time he's fell asleep himself. Day two breakfast was a success and was peaceful as well. We're heading towards the botanic garden now. Um, see all of these shops here, it's like a shopping street and there are a lot of shops. There was a shop with nice shoes and clothes, okay? So I was looking at that by the window and Lakshman is rushing me to walk and he's like, okay, we're going to Botanic Gardens now, we're not doing shopping now. I was hoping to sneak in some shopping, all in the name of my birthday treat. Can I do some shopping? <laughs> Botanic Gardens in Oxford is so good. It's so well organized and well planned, and it's very um, educational as well. They've got like different columns and different sections with different kind of plants. They have their scientific name. They have like purposes and everything, uh, what it's good for, its benefits, and where it's from and everything. As we were walking about, quite a few people gave us um, a double take because. Master Levi here is enjoying everything and he's watching and taking in all of the sounds and the sight and the smell and all that. Some people actually stopped to say that he looks gorgeous, he looks nice and everything. And there was this one lady in particular who stopped to speak to us. She spent a good two minutes I think asking us how old he was, if this is his first trip and what he's doing, whether it's a girl or a boy, he looks gorgeous, he looks beautiful, um, wished us really well. And everything and then we were walking past a group of people who were sat by the bench and Lakshman was like showing Levi off like a prized possession and a lot more people were acknowledging him and Levi was also cooing and acknowledging them you know it was really nice to see that people are willing to do that which got us thinking when we look at other people's children or babies we would talk amongst ourselves to say that they look really cute, the baby is really cute and gorgeous. We wouldn't actually take a bold step forward to go and approach them and tell them that. But we do smile at them, you know, so the parents know that we're looking at them and we're smiling and acknowledging their baby and their child. It's just that it goes on to show how different people are, how different the like, different cultures well, are. Well, I suppose isn't it? because he's out about, he's not inside the tram, so people can easily see him, what yeah. he's up to. See, see? Hello. Say hi. Hello baby. Are you enjoying this? Oh, someone's mm. drooling. A lot of Let's bubbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a bloopers. Okay, let's do it again. Take one. Take two. There, look at your face. There you go. Hey baby. Look at this beautiful face. Hello. Say Levi. hi. Master Hello. <laughs> Are you enjoying this? You know, in this he doesn't look like he's enjoying, but he actually is enjoying. <laughs> almost close to feeding time now so that's probably why he's giving a little bit of a grumpy look and windy and it was actually
literally drizzling already. So we just came back straight to the hotel with our bubble tea. We had wanted that waffle bubble ice cream or something like that, but they only do that over the weekend. They didn't have it today. So we just ordered bubble tea and then we got back to the hotel room. Um, I stayed in feeding Levi and resting a little bit while I went out to get food. We were supposed to have Malaysian food for lunch today and I wanted to go out to the restaurant but it didn't really make sense for us to walk on the way to get that. Um, so Lakshman did a takeaway, came back to the hotel room. I'll show you what I got. Um, we're just gonna watch, eat in bed and watch something on Netflix. I've got chocolate there. It's quite nice. I wouldn't say it's the best chocolate there, but it's nice. I've removed all of these onions here. It was too big for my liking, so I took that off. And this is satay tofu. Um, the peanut sauce is really nice, but I find the tofu a bit dry. Lakshman kind of liked it. Lakshman's having nasi lama. And we've got a long way down on Netflix. It sounds interesting. It looks like it's going to be quite nice. I've got the noise machine there. Levi was sleeping, but someone's already woken up now. He wants to give us company while we're eating. What's the verdict? How is it? Very nice. Really? Yes. Is it extra sweet? No, no, just nice. <laughs> yeah, look at your shoulder and look at my shoulder. Morning, day three in Oxford and our last day. We are out and about looking for breakfast and possibly lunch as well because we need to check out at 11 o'clock and by the time we reach home we will need lunch on the way and I don't want to have anything from the service station so we might just buy something and take it away with us. As I was celebrating my birthday last night with Lakshman and Levi, I was reflecting upon the last year. You know every year it's easy to say oh I thank God for adding another year into my life. When I was truly reflecting upon the last year, I realized what a year last year has been. So many uncertainties, so many doubts. It's just that so many things had happened that you never really know what's going to happen. But despite that, I had some sort of a peace. And I just knew who held my future. So it didn't really worry me with all of those uncertainties and all of those circumstances, you know. And amongst all of the miracles and the blessings that God has showered upon me, this little one here, this really little one here, is by far the biggest miracle ever that has happened in my life. I am the kind of person who knows that God loves me. I know where I stand in Christ. I know my authority in Christ. I know who I am in Christ, full stop, that's it, okay? And I know that I am very well loved and blessed by my own family and my own friends as well. I have no doubt about it. One thing I didn't know though is how much I'm capable of giving out love. And I only realized that ever since the arrival of this little one here, I didn't know I was even capable of that much love at all. I didn't know where all of those came from. I didn't know I had it in me. I'm just very, very grateful for the year that has gone. God has been so prominent in everything that has happened in my life. I know none of it would have been possible without God. And that's exactly how I want my life to be. More than my own desires and my own plans, I always run everything to God and to His own will. What I found really surprising is that a lot of people who wish me for my birthday even recognize it's a special birthday because of Levi. Usually I'm not big on really celebrating my birthday. I don't care about cakes or dressing up or taking photos or anything like that. But last night I was so particular about it. I went and looked for new dresses for me and for Levi. I picked my own cake. I picked um, macarons from Paul's Cafe and I insisted that we actually staged pictures and we celebrated it together. I really wanted those pictures for keepsake, you know. I'm usually not that kind of person at all, but it has been a very special year and I really want to remember it for what it is. Every year during my birthday, when I reflect upon the year that has gone, I notice that it gets better and better and better. 
from my own understanding, I feel like it cannot get any better than this. But God is the one who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than I can ask or imagine. So what he has for me in the year to come is definitely beyond my own expectations and imaginations. And I'm truly looking forward to it. I'm really glad I made time to reflect upon the year to see how it has been and how it's going to be as well. Okay, this one is wriggling about. I need to put him down so that he can rest properly. And I need to finish backing up because we have to check out from the hotel. Not even gonna try and cover up. It's been three days since we got back from our holidays and I've just realized that I didn't even end the vlog while we were on our way back. All we did on Friday was pack everything and check up from the hotel. On our way back, the traffic was so bad so we had to make a stop in Swindon. We knew we probably had to make one stop but what we didn't realize is that we were so chilled because it was going to be the weekend and we didn't have any other plans. So we stopped in Swindon. We spent a good couple of hours there. Fat Levi changed him, had lunch there, walked around a little bit and then got back. So we took about three hours I think all together with traffic to get back home without the stops. Levi was so much more better on the way back because the first hour and a half he slept. He was very cheerful because he was fully fed by the time we got into the car. So he was cheerful for the first half an hour and then he slept for the next hour. And then when he woke up, we took a stop. And then for the next hour and a half on our way back home from Swindon, he was sleepy initially. He slept a little bit and then he woke up and he was a bit cranky, but we reached home by then. So that was good. Overall, the trip to Oxford was quite good. Oxford is a historic city and it's really beautiful. There's actually a lot of things to see over there, a lot of historic monuments monuments and it's just beautiful walks and everything but we didn't do most of it our main goal to go to Oxford was for Levi's sake you know we just wanted to get him used to the car safe traveling in the car we wanted to see how it was and I guess we kind of achieved that we kind of understand what ticks him and how long he can sit in the car seat you know for the longest time and what we can do to help entertain him he's really young so there really isn't much that we can do to entertain him in the car at the moment but he likes face-to-face -face contact so I noticed when I put my face right in front of him talking to him he is happy and he's cheerful and he's fine and then he does enjoy looking out the window a little bit not too long though but he loses his patience in the car he can't stay on for too long and I don't blame him I mean I am like that myself most of us adults cannot sit in the car for too long can we I found Oxford to be quite expensive our first meal for lunch in uh, Happy Friday Kitchen. It was good but it was about £45 odd and I thought that was quite a lot. Um, probably because we haven't gone out in ages now because of the lockdown. I've been extra careful while I was pregnant and even now after Levi. So this is probably the first time I am going out to eat since the lockdown in March 2020. Yeah, we've done takeaway, we've done delivery, but we've just not gone out at all. And this is the first time I didn't even realize it until I'm talking about it to you now. Um, maybe it is reasonable, maybe it's expensive, but that was the benchmark for all of our meals outside. Though it's twice for Levi, I made a bit of a mess there. That was a complete fail if I must say so myself. I had so many plans and I planned several outfits for him. I did take back up as well. But what I did was the bodysuit that I took for him to sleep at night in, 
was the wrong size. I took the 0 to 1 month while he's already 2 months. I should have taken the bigger size so that it's easier. But in the last minute, I realized and I packed one big size, which I didn't film in the video that I had uploaded last week. We ended up putting that on for him throughout the two days because it was cold the second day while we were in Oxford. So we couldn't really put on the outfit for him. It would have been too warm to put on the outfit and put on the bodysuit on top of that. So we ended up putting on a vest for him and then putting on that bodysuit and he's obviously drooling a lot now so we had to dry it every night that we came back to the hotel and put it on the next day for him. It's just so difficult to estimate the weather and it's so difficult to estimate clothes for babies I find but now I have a clearer picture. I just need to have like a proper outer layer but the next time we go I ho I'm hoping that he will be slightly bigger obviously he'll be able to wear coats and jackets so that will be easier to layer up and it'll be easier to estimate that way. When we first decided to go to Oxford I didn't think that was a very good idea. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. I didn't think it would be convenient for me because I have this splint and I've had it on for a couple of days before we even went on the holiday. It's been a week now that I've had it on non-stop. I've got the splint because I've got the decorin syndrome. Um, it's a tendon over here on the wrist that is swollen and inflamed because of overuse. Because of that problem, because of the tendon being swollen and inflamed, I'm not able to move my thumb as much as I would normally do. So I have restricted movements with my thumb. I can only do this or probably this. I can't do, you know, move my thumb that way and I can't really roll around my wrist like this like what I would normally do. So basically, this arm has been non-functional or rather partially functional for the last whole week and I thought that was going to be extremely difficult to travel around Oxford with that. But it wasn't too bad actually, I'm surprised myself. But it's all about management ultimately. I had to be extra careful not to use this arm. Even when I was pushing the stroller, I didn't put pressure over here. I only put pressure on this side while I was pushing the stroller. Lakshman carried Levi throughout. I didn't carry him. I hardly carried him while we were out. The only time I had to carry him is while I was feeding him, but obviously Lakshman helped me. And I had to manage on how to lift him up, not use this entire arm, use my right hand more than I would normally use my left arm. Um, I've spoken to my GP, I've spoken to physio, I have been doing physio for a week before this happened but it just got worsened. Now ultimately I'm waiting for a referral to have um, an ultrasound guided steroid injection that will be administered over here in my wrist. Apparently it will take a couple of hours if I were to do that and then it does take about two to three days up till ten days for it to fully heal and recover after the injection sure. I should still be very careful even after the injection. I'm really hoping I get the referral sooner rather than later because it's just so difficult for me to take care of Levi with this on because I'm not as free as I used to be. I'm very restricted now with this and I have to be careful. Even with a splint on, I cannot put on so much weight at all. Um, that's one of the things that was always bothering me before we went to Oxford, but while we were there, it did hurt a little bit here and there, but it's all about management. It's all about trying to, you know, work your way around it. But despite all of these things, I am glad we did go. It was good to get out of the house. It was good to try and get into some sort of a change and do something that we used to do before. But it was a nice city. It was um, a memorable trip for so many reasons. It was my first birthday with Levi. It was Levi's first trip. It was my birthday trip as well. After two years, we didn't do any trip last year. The hotel was really good. They were very helpful and friendly. I thought the hotel was expensive, but when we booked it, we were very keen on looking for something right in the heart of the city so that we didn't need a car to move around. So we could just walk out and walk back into the hotel quickly. Because it was in the heart of the city, there wasn't any parking available within the hotel, so we had to park elsewhere. There was a park and ride, which was £4 for every 24 hours. There was a closer car park, which was £35 for 24 hours. We obviously went for the park and ride. There wasn't worth spending but £70 to £90 pounds for the two and a half days that we were there. And I also realized that we found a lot of favor because we had Levi with us. He was so small and young and he was so cute and adorable. People were looking at him. Uh, people in the restaurants and the cafes gave us the best seats possible. They always served us 
quicker than anyone else. I also noticed that they let us stay longer after they cleared the table if I was feeding Levi. I'm now looking forward to the next holiday with him. Probably not so soon, maybe in the next couple of months, but he will be older by then. So that will be a different challenge and that will be slightly different at the time. That's it for my Oxford vlog. This is actually the first time that I'm filming something while I've gone away from home. It was a good experience. I didn't think I would be able to do it, but it was nice. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I enjoyed making it. And I hope if you are going away on a holiday sometime soon, you have a good time too. Stay safe and stay healthy and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!